How the hell do Billy Joe Sanders get a number two ranking with the WBO at super middleweight? He doesn't have a title um, at middleweight. He lost that to a, a drug suspension. Uh, he hasn't fought, and he decides to come up to super middleweight and get a number two ranking, and they drop Jesse Hart down to number three to take his opportunity at a world title away from him? It doesn't make sense. Now, I understand Canelo Alvarez, he's big money, big bucks, the biggest face in boxing right now, and he was a champion at middleweight. So if he decided that he wanted to come up uh, the super middleweight and get a chance at another title is only right. I understand that move. Rocky Feldon was a weak champion, had the WBA title. Canelo Alvarez moved right in and, and seized that opportunity. But for Billy Joe Sanders, he wasn't a, he, he, at when he moved up to super middleweight. He has no belts. He don't had a right to be in a position like that. It's not even fair. Gilberto Ramirez, he gave up uh, his uh, WBO super middleweight title for a, a number one ranking in the WBO at light heavyweight. That makes sense. Billy Joe didn't offer anything. Didn't even have a one fight at super middleweight. It's not fair to Jesse Hart. So whatever we got to do, whatever doors we got to kick in, they got to straighten that out because uh, Billy Joe Sanders is not a big enough name for me to understand how he get a number two rankings in the WBO super middleweight uh, division. Don't even make any sense. If anything, he should fight a lesser name and earn his spot. Not because he's Billy Joe Sanders. Jesse Hart is going to dominate the super middleweight division from here on out. I guarantee you.